Hey everyone, welcome to Wade's Triple Threat Workout of the Day. Today, what we are going to be doing is going through about 10 minutes of cardio, about 10 minutes of strength, and about 10 minutes of abs. So, getting in as much as you can in each one of those categories. I'm going to go through all these cardio workouts first. Um, when you look on that board, you'll see a big daunting list of exercises, but I'll go through each one and give you just a few tips on each exercise. Your goal when you finish all of those cardio exercises is to time yourself throughout and then write your time up on the whiteboard. So there'll be a secondary whiteboard there where you can write your time and your goal is to get the best time that you can, challenge yourself, push yourself. That first exercise on there is squats. You'll have your feet about shoulder width apart, coming down and up. After that, you'll have push-ups, hands on the ground, straight line from your feet to your head, or if you need to, knees to head, keeping that stomach tight, down and up. After that, you'll have jumping jacks. You can either do both feet or one foot, totally up to you. After that, you'll have toe taps on a medicine ball. So I have my medicine ball right here, tapping one foot on top, keeping that quick, or just tapping like that, doing that however you need to. The faster you go with this, the quicker your time's gonna be, and you're trying to push yourself right now, so you can go at whatever pace you need to. After that, you'll have slams, arms up, throw the ball down hard. Some of those balls aren't gonna bounce, you may have one that does. If you do have a bouncing one, just watch out that it doesn't bounce right back into your face. Those non-bounce ones you'll pick up each time. Next, you'll have burpees. The goal here is to be in a push-up position and then be in a standing position, and then try and add that jump if you can. So you can get down there however you want to, into that burpee, jump, or you can come down quick, jump, either option. After that, you're gonna have overhead squats, holding this overhead however you'd like. You can hold it overhead like that, straight arms, but adding that squat in with you. Next is jump squats, little jump with it. Skaters going side to side, that leg, coming to that, switching sides just like that. You can go quick, but the most important thing is that leg is crossing across, going back and forth. After that, you're going to have sprints from the yellow curtain to the wall. Whatever that number says next to it, how many sprints you're doing. Yellow curtain to wall, back to yellow curtain is one. Next, moving on to that strength portion, you have a one-armed row. You'll start with your heavy dumbbell, having a leg outside the brace, keeping your chest forward, your shoulder back, pulling up just non-stop. When you finish that, grabbing that medium dumbbell, no break, going straight into it, pulling that right to your belly button as you pull, and then that don't fly, slate forward lean, and then coming up. This one is going to be 20 reps, so each position, trying to keep your shoulders locked in place, chest out, stomach tight, hips tight, thinking about all those things as you move through that strength. Next is abs, doing just a little bit of a bunch of exercises. First one is plank. A straight line from your feet to your head, stomach tight, hips tight, keeping your hands under your shoulders, trying to keep everything in alignment there, dropping down to your knees again if you need to. After that, bicycle crunches, a lot of options here, but touching your elbow to that knee on the opposite side, and then switching sides. Doing that however you need to. Next, mountain climbers, keeping your stomach tight, trying to suck your knee in, and just coming back and forth. Typically on this one, the slower you move, the more you'll feel in your core. So this is a good one to move a little bit slower on. Next you have leg raises. Lifting those legs up, back down. So on here, it's important to keep your lower back on the ground, trying to keep your stomach engaged the whole movement with that lower back squished down. Next, you'll have side plank. You can do this on your hand or on your elbow, keeping a straight line from your feet to your head, feet to your head, or knees to head, either one. But you're gonna have one on your right side, and you'll also have one on your left side. Then you're moving on to toe touches, feet in the air, reaching up, trying to touch your toes, sliding your hands up your calf like that. After that, you're gonna have a boat pose. The goal in this boat pose is to keep your stomach tight, lean back as far as you can without your shoulders coming forward. So as you start leaning back, you'll feel your shoulders back, your stomach engaged. Try and hold it strong there for 45 seconds. Next, you're coming back into that boat pose, doing a Russian twist with it, using your hands for that twist. Left side, right side. And then you'll be finishing back with that plank. 
If you have any questions, feel free to see a staff member. Um, just make sure that in that cardio section, you're timing yourself, you're writing your time on the board. See you, see you soon.